God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. This is Whitfield Harrington. As you can see, I'm in my truck. I'm ready to go for another ride. Um, and what do I mean by that? The time has come for me to do mentoring again. Um, some years ago, I started making videos in my vehicle. At the time, I was driving for Uber. The Lord had blessed me, amen, to be able to enjoy actually picking people up, talking to them, listening to what was going on in their life, sharing with them what was going on in my life. And little did I know that the Lord was going to birth something out of me from just talking to people. And lo and behold, one day I just made a video and just says, um, after people have been asking, did I do any type of mentoring because of the experiences and the things that I have been through? And I just decided to make maybe a two minute video. And after that two minute video, everything in my life changed. People were blessed. People are still being blessed. And the experience it's been a life-changing experience for myself, especially for those who have been a part of it. So I, for a while, I would do sort of an on-demand um, mentoring, which was basically just the recordings for some of the older ones. But I felt led this time to do it again live um, because I felt like something was missing. That live interaction with your teacher um, makes a difference. And I wanted to go back and add some things to what I did the first time and give you an even better experience this time around than the ones who had it the first time around. And let me tell you, I'm going to share with you some of the things that we covered then and some of the things we're going to cover now. Um, back then, there were a lot of people who were under severe witchcraft attacks. All right. Um, I don't even want to go into detail how deep it was. Um, there were a lot of people who had unusual gifts, such as people who could see angels. All right. Um, people who dream things before they happen. But they didn't understand what was happening, how to interpret the dreams and different things of that nature. And so it came in handy um, for me to work with them the best of my abilities that God had given me to sort of help them. And so now the time has come where I want to do it again. All right. Um, but this time there's some things that I, I certainly want to share with you that we cover in the mentoring program. Um, and I would call it the basics of a lot of things because I, I decided to separate it into three levels. Um, the first level is sort of the beginning level second level is a more intermediate and the third level is more so advanced um the beginning level is where we're starting here level one um we talk about some things that will change your life forever when you get in the program there's particular lessons that i teach called 21 things every christian should know it's my belief based off of the Bible, some of the things that you need to know concerning the word of God and your experience with God before you leave this world. So it's a teaching that I put together and I teach it throughout the duration of the training and it will bless you tremendously. I've, I've had testimonies um, concerning this teaching of individuals who have gone to seminaries. And their testimony to me was they learned more in this program than they had learned in their entirety of the seminary experience. I'm not bragging. I'm just giving you what the persons have told me. I've had individuals that said they've been in church for over 50 years. They learned more in eight weeks than they had learned in 50 years. So the biblical um, foundation that we teach from is from that teaching 21 things every Christian should know. And then we also do some basics in dream interpretation where we just get you started to understanding some of the things that you need to know regarding what's happening in your dreams. And then we also teach on the basics of building a prayer life. Let me tell you, your experience with God and your walk with God will never be greater than your prayer life. That's a fact. 
So you need to know how to build a proper prayer life. You can build ministries, you can build businesses, but when it comes under attack, it takes prayer to know how to deal with it. And so for that reason, we also deal with spiritual warfare. And in the generation that we live in, uh, warfare has become very, 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 you know, um, I don't even know the proper word to use for it. Unusual is, is an understatement because the platform for spiritual warfare now has shifted. It's shifted more to the dream platform where a lot of the attacks of the enemy are happening in dreams. A lot of witchcraft attacks are happening in dreams, which means you need to understand the dream, number one. And a lot of people don't know how to understand dreams. And number two, you need to understand the warfare that's happening in the dreams and you need to know how to respond to it. So for that reason, we teach some, I, I call it basic, but it's by no means basic. The basics of spiritual warfare um, in relation to what the Lord has shared with me. And let me, let me share this with you so you can get some context and some of the things that the Lord has shared with me. I am a person and I'm not ashamed to say this. I have endured so many witchcraft attacks i don't even think i could number them how many times in the last 10 years or so i've experienced witchcraft attacks it's probably way over ten thousand. with ease i'm serious i have um experienced things where i have dealt with high level witchcraft individuals who were invoking not just demons, but falling angels against me. And by the grace of God, I'm still here. So when I speak of basics of spiritual warfare, it's really more so advanced spiritual warfare, but it's what I consider to be the basics of warfare that you need to understand. Um, it's something that we talk about. And primarily I, I teach defensive warfare and offensive warfare. Defensive warfare is learning how to protect yourself, protect your family from these devices of the enemy that whether they come in forms of witchcraft or demonic attacks, demonic dreams, um, curses, spells, whatever it may be. You need to know how to put up a defense against these things and you need to know when what are the warning signs that normally comes to dreams and visions as to what's happening with your defenses because a warning will come before an attack or destruction comes. And that's some of the things that we cover. And uh, I'll be honest with you in the beginner's level. I don't teach. I teach just a little, but not a lot on offensive warfare. And the reason being is it would be foolish of me to teach you how to march into the camp of the enemy if you don't know how to properly protect yourself spiritually. Because if you throw a rock at the devil, you better believe he's going to throw a brick back. All right. You need to know how to duck. You need to know how to get out of the way or you need to know how to speak to it so that it don't even start coming at you. So for that reason, I focus on teaching individuals in the level one how to do defensive warfare first, how to defend, how to anoint your home, how to do those things. And the reason I put it into a program, because a lot of times people want things like this in bits and pieces. Now this, this is a package. There's a lot you need to understand when you start battling, you know, back from witchcraft attacks, when you start battling back from demonic attacks, when you, when you get serious for the Lord, there's a lot of things you need to know. And some of the things that are discussed in here, I wouldn't say I'm embarrassed to say them in public, but some of the things are so deep and mysterious that a public platform, in my opinion, if I'm wrong, Lord, help me, is just not a good place for it because it subjects itself to debate without individuals going through the process. All right. Um, for an example, I made a video um, a few weeks ago talking about how God showed me that fallen angels were coming upon the face of the earth. And if you read the comment section, you would see people who they're already here. They're, you know, they've been here since. And, and this is the reason why I don't go that deep into those things. 
And then some days ago, there was a report out in Las Vegas of a man calling the police saying that there were these creatures standing in his backyard after he saw a falling star. After I had made the video saying they come in the form of fallen stars, asteroids, that's how they present themselves. And I would go so far as to tell you those things that were there, um, let me put it like this, it's, it's not something that's foreign to me. And whatever those UFOs are, one thing I do know is that angels fight against them. So it's it's a lot of things that that needs to be taken in in a package, in a, in a setting, a learning setting to where you get everything and you don't just pick up one message, one video and say, I don't know about this. So I, I kind of give myself the liberty for those who are serious and not those who are just curious. All right. So if you want to be a part of this, you can join. Um, all you need to do is have an access to a computer because we have all the classes online on Zoom. So you can join from here anywhere in the world where you can get an Internet connection. Now, normally there is a cost for it, but this time I'm waiving the cost. All right. If you want to give a donation once you're in, you've been through it, that's fine. Um, but it's no cost because I like to be able to help those who may be in places where they're not in a position to 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 give something financially for something. Um, and then there are those where it should be free. The, you, I, I, I beg to differ. Uh, how many seminaries um, are in existence because of they just put it up together and offered it to everybody free? All right. Um, let's be mindful of the information and the things that God are blessing us with and support it. All right. Um, when you see something that's great, support it. That doesn't mean that you charge outrageous, ridiculous prices for what you're doing. But at the same time, you, you can't go to a college for free. You can't go to a seminary for free. So don't put it out um, in your mind that everything is supposed to be free. I would, um, and a lot of us would starve to death if everything was free and we was waiting on the saints to be saintly. All right. There are some people who understand you have to support the things of God. So for that reason, what's strange is I find it that the people who live in societies that have more and could do more financially are the main ones that complain. But the ones who live in impoverished countries, they wish they had to be able to join. And so for that reason, when I first started, I felt the need to make it available to everyone. So I do the first lesson, the first training free. It's enough information in the level one to last you a lifetime. I had one student that went through it and <laughs> she just said, man of God, thank you. But I do not think I'm going to proceed to level two because what I just took in from level one, it's going to take me a while to really just put this into action. It's a lot. Um, it's. It's, it's certainly worth your time if you're serious about growing in the Lord. Um, and I would encourage you to be a part of it. It's normally about six to eight weeks. I give myself a little liberty if I need to add something. I see something comes up. I may, sometimes I stretch it out, may go longer. Six to eight weeks is, is normally how it's, how long it is. I'm very relaxed like I am now. All right. I'm not trying to hoop and holler. You might catch me with a T-shirt on and a baseball cap teaching one day. Um, and the classes are normally on Tuesdays, Thursday and Saturday. Sometimes I will move them around. I decide to do something on a Wednesday, on a Friday. And it's normally in the evenings um, around six o'clock, seven o'clock, something like that. And then Saturday mornings or Saturday evening, whatever is um, accommodating to the group as a whole. Because when you have an international audience, I try to make something that's flexible to everyone. And those are some of the times that I've discovered that works best. Um, so if you want to be a part of it, um, there is a form down below. Now, listen to me and listen to me well. All right. Um, one of the things that that can cause a person not to be um, a part of this is if you put in the wrong email address. All right. Don't type in, you know, um, um, Jane Doe at gmail.com when you really know you don't get email at Jane Doe gmail.com you put in the email address and the application that it's 
the one you're going to receive information from. All right. And then also keep your eyes on your emails because we're going to cut off the application period on July the 5th. All right. And the classes will start on July the 8th. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, but tentatively, there is a cutoff to amount of people that I can take in. And we're not there yet, but I do believe we will get there. And if we need to expand because of the limitations of what we can teach on Zoom, there's a limit of how many people that we can teach in a class at one time. Um, so we're trying to take in as many as we can. And I'm looking forward to having a, a, a wonderful time. Um, the first time around, we did it the very first time when it was over. I want to say nearly everybody cried. All right. The warfare that was associated with that first meeting was off the registers. I cannot explain to you. It was like having... 60, I think it was about 60 people in that group. It was about, it was like 60 fires or 60 war zones across the world. Every, it, you could see witchcraft coming after everybody. You could see um, God blessing everybody. There were divine encounters. People were experiencing angelic encounters. The blessings of God was rolling in the people of lives, unlike anything I've ever seen. And that was the first time around I experienced some attacks that I thought was going to send me to an early grave, but I'm still here. Amen. By the grace of God and have learned so much more. Amen. That I want to share with the people of God this time around, because we're living in a time where we need to know how to engage in warfare properly. We need to know how to um, sense what our dreams are saying to us. We need to know how to interpret them. We need to know how to build a better prayer life, a solid prayer life. And you need to know the word of God, especially those things that are going to matter the most in the end. So um, with that being said, I think I shared enough information with you. Don't let my um, laid back posture fool you. <laughs> you have never been on a ride like this spiritually. If you have not experienced this. I would encourage you not to delay. Well, I got to pray about it. I would encourage you to pray and hear from God real soon because it's going to fill up. And once the ship takes off or the vehicle leaves the, the parking lot, <laughs> I'll see you on the next load. All right. So I'm looking forward to God doing great things in the lives of those who want to be a part of it. Um, and I'm looking forward to the Lord doing some wonderful things in my life as well as in the body of Christ. And I think this is an opportunity for you to really take advantage of this and grow seriously. So I'm going to pray and, and hope that the Lord will lead you in the direction that he wants you to go. And Father, we thank you now for this moment and this hour that you have called us to something greater. Lord, I pray that this season of teaching, the season of mentoring that you have called me to, to share deep, secrets that you have revealed unto me with those that you have chosen for such a time as this. Lord, I pray that you would speak to the hearts of those that you desire to be a part of this and that you would give them the unction and the confirmation that they need, oh Lord. And I pray that your peace and your security would be with all those who come to be a part as we thank you for it now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. The link is in the description below. Fill it out to the best of your ability. Amen. And keep your eyes on your emails between the 1st of July and the 5th of July. And we're going to be ready to rock and roll with our first lesson on July the 8th. We'll tell you the time at a later time. But we're looking forward to getting started soon and very soon. All right. God bless you. And I look forward to riding. Amen. With you. Uh, in other words, let's go. It's his time to roll. Roll forward for what God wants us to do in this season. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.